Tonight I want to talk to you all about the advancements in gearbox technology while comparing the M249 AEG gearbox to other prior gearboxes like the version 2's and version 3's. Now AEG's stands for automatic electric gun and these are airsoft rifles that, pr that project small 6 millimeter BBs as opposed to paintballs on projectiles. Now, these were first engineered in Japan in the early 90's and they weren't very user friendly when they first came out. They had many problems when it came to the gears, the placement of the wire, and so forth. Over the years, they've changed a lot and they've made different types of boxes for the different types of firearms they're trying to replicate, whether it be, say, something from like the Russian Kalashnikov family, an AK 47, an American AR 15, MP5. Every type of firearm that they try to replicate has had a different shape and different size gearbox. Now, this gearbox itself is engineered for the M249 squad automatic weapon and the M60. Now this gearbox has been re-engineered to fix every problem that's ever gone wrong with these prior gearboxes. Everything from the placement of the motor, placement of the gears, how you remove your spring and your spring guide, everything that could have ever gone wrong with an older gearbox has been remedied by this. The first thing you'll notice with this gearbox with the spring and the spring guide, where prior gearboxes have it locked inside and bolted down, and the only way to take it out is by very slowly and very carefully inserting a screwdriver set of pliers and popping it out and hoping that it doesn't fly out and knock your gears and whatnot out of alignment. This gearbox has a button on the top here, which when depressed, this completely releases your spring guide and your spring without affecting anything inside the box. So you can take this out without even opening it and not run the risk of your shims getting lost, your gears getting misaligned. Now another thing, once you crack this open, you'll notice that everything in here is completely lateral when it comes to your motor and your gears. In the prior gearboxes, you would have an elongated motor connecting this channel here to a series of gears that connect to your piston and your cylinder set. And these can be very, very hard to shim. And by shimming, I mean taking little small metal discs the size of a measured in tenths of millimeters used to align your gears to make sure that they're properly seated and that they're meshing well and not too loose. Now, these can be hard to shim for a beginner because, for one, the only holes that you can look through to even see if they're shimmed right is the small one here where the motor goes through and along the top where your cylinder would be. With this gearbox, when you crack it open, they're all lateral. Your motor is built inside the back here, which connects to each individual gear all the way up to the trigger itself. These are very, very, very easy to shim. Whereas something like this for a beginner could take three or four hours to shim properly, this for a beginner can take maybe one hour at the most. You can see right here, you have this completely open cavity. You can see each individual gear top and bottom. I mean, it can go one at a time and go through it very easily. Another thing, is that with these, when you're setting your motor, it can be very, very troublesome. You can burn through a lot of fuses setting your motor properly with the, the gear that it connects to. With this itself, it's just a matter of turning the small screw on the back to make sure that it meshes well with the gears. It's very, very user friendly. The next thing with this, with the older gearboxes, your wires run along the inside of it through these channels here. And one of the big problems, especially when you're using a brand new wiring harness, is that the one that runs through this channel that connects to your battery can easily get torn to pieces by the motor head if it's not seated properly. You need to make sure that with these, that they're flush up against the wall and that they're not touching any of the metal parts. So you could easily just shred the wire itself and it can short out and you know, do all kinds of horrible things. With that said, you can see right here, the wires for this box run completely along the outside. They don't touch any moving metal parts. They don't come in contact with anything like that. The only thing they connect to is your motor on the outside here and this simple trigger switch. Another thing that is really advanced with these gearboxes is that with other gearboxes like the version 6s, version 7s, things like that, all your individual parts are specific to that box and you have to take and buy a whole series of replacement parts specifically for that. These use all version 2 parts except for something like say the trigger, the motor, you know, simple little things like that, your gears, your cylinder, your nozzle head, all of those things are all version 2 parts, so you could very easily buy those generic parts from the same places you get parts for this. In conclusion, this is the most advanced gearbox to date. 
and the only downside to this is that at the present time there are only a very small handful of gear uh, guns that this will even fit into such as the M249, the M60 and so forth. At the moment there are some aftermarket companies are trying to uh, introduce a few of these little parts say like the spring guide and things like that into your version 2 and version 3 parts but at the moment this is the most advanced gearbox to date. And that is my presentation on the AG gearboxes. Thank you.